If you're craving some farming, puzzle solving, a cozy decoration gameplay, or if you just want to unwind with a relaxing game experience, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into the latest updates, from demo releases to full game launches and highly anticipated updates. So grab your snacks, cozy up, and let's jump right into the first update. Let's start with Botany Manor. The team behind the game unveiled that Botany Manor will launch on April 9. And with this, they've shared a captivating new trailer showcasing more of the delightful flowers and intriguing puzzles awaiting players in the game. For the uninitiated, Botany Manor invites players to step into the shoes of retired botanist Arabella Green in an exploration puzzle adventure set in the backdrop of the 19th century, a time teeming with scientific marvels. The heart of the game lies in its intricate puzzles which take the form of nurturing and cultivating plants. Players must seek out seeds, plant them, and nurture their seedlings in the most suitable environments. In Botany Manor, every encounter holds potential significance to your botanical research. As players progress through the game, they'll gradually unravel the life and career of Arabella Green, gaining insight into the challenges she faced as a pioneering woman in the field of science. If this sounds like your type of game, be sure to add Botany Manor to your wishlist to stay informed about any future updates and announcements. Up next is Furnish Master. In this exciting update, gamers are just a week away from getting their hands on Furnish Master Early Access. The solo developer behind the game shared that the decision was made to launch it in Early Access to gather feedback from the community and make improvements. During the Early Access phase, which is expected to last 12 to 18 months, the developer plans to enhance the game significantly. This includes adding more content and cutscenes to the story mode, introducing new furniture and decorations, implementing mod support, refining controls and user interface, enhancing gamepad support, and improving the room editor. Currently, the early access version offers a small story mode with missions, puzzles, and properties to furnish, as well as a sandbox mode with a room editor. The developer actively listens to feedback from players on Discord, Steam, and social networks and has already made significant changes to the game based on community suggestions. So if you're interested, you can check them out on popular social media platforms. Then there's Traveler's Rest. In this game, gamers have the freedom to expand and manage their own fantasy tavern, customizing it with furniture and decor to enhance its reputation. With hundreds of customers to serve, players must keep their patrons happy by serving up delicious dishes and drinks while maintaining order in the tavern. But it's not just about running a tavern. Players will also embark on adventures to discover new recipes, ingredients, and decorative items to elevate their establishment. With a new beta release, players can look forward to exciting updates including a new fishing system, over 30 types of fish, 25 new decoration items, over 30 new recipes, and a new map to explore, the beach. So get ready to build, cook, and explore your way to tavern keeping greatness in Traveler's Rest. And next is Endless Ocean. Get ready to explore the depths of the ocean like never before. Nintendo is bringing us a brand new undersea adventure with Endless Ocean Luminous. In this exciting new game, players will dive into the mysterious Veiled Sea, an uncharted region teeming with marine life waiting to be discovered. With over 500 different species to encounter, including some thought to be extinct or mythical, every dive promises new surprises and adventures. But that's not all. Endless Ocean Luminous also offers the opportunity for players to team up with friends and explore the depths together in shared expeditions. With support for up to 30 players online, you can join forces with fellow divers to uncover the secrets of the ocean and make thrilling discoveries. So mark your calendars and get ready to dive into the Veiled Sea with Endless Ocean Luminous, coming to Nintendo Switch on May 2, 2024. Now let's go to GoGo -Go Town. GoGo Town just dropped its demo this February, and it's been a hit with over 50,000 downloads already. That's a lot of players diving into the action and sharing their thoughts. In this simulation game, you're stepping into the shoes of the mayor of GoGo Town, a once vibrant tourism hub now in need of some TLC. Teaming up with the town's elderly residents, you'll lead the charge of reviving GoGo Town and turning it back into a bustling hotspot. Your mission kicks off with some good old-fashioned elbow grease. Armed with tools like chainsaws and drills, you'll spruce up random buildings, spruce up the town, and set up new attractions to draw in tourists. Luckily, you've got a helping hand from the locals. 
delegate tasks, expand industries, and watch your town grow with miners, fishermen, farmers, and more joining the workforce. With each success, you unlock new tools and features to take your own town to the next level. Get ready for an epic journey of rejuvenation and success in GoGo -Go Town. The possibilities are endless and the adventure is just beginning. Then we have Hello Kitty Added Adventure. Sunblink and Sanrio have just released the fifth major update for Hello Kitty Island Adventure, available exclusively on Apple Arcade. Version 1.5, known as Merry Meadow, introduces a new area with various activities. In Merry Meadow, players will explore a tranquil space filled with flowers, cottages, and hidden spots. Meet Wish Me Mel, a friendly garden enthusiast, and embark on a quest to earn her trust. The update also includes a new flower planting system, allowing players to create their dream garden. Additionally, a new storyline unfolds as players cozy up in a den of the icy icy peak. Join Hello Kitty and friends in the springtime celebration event running from March 2nd to April 14th. Collect petals scattered across the island to exchange for Japanese-inspired decor and fashion items. Ready to explore the merry meadow and make new friends? Download Hello Kitty Island Adventure now with your Apple Arcade subscription. Next up is Urban Jungle. Big news from the developers of Urban Jungle, their first game demo just dropped on Steam. In Urban Jungle, players get to spruce up a cozy apartment with lush greenery turning it from a drab concrete space into a vibrant oasis. No need to worry about watering or pesky pests. Just find the perfect spot for your plants and watch them flourish. Plus, there's even a furry feline friend you can shower with affection. This passion project is brought to life by a dynamic duo, promising a small yet heartfelt gaming experience. Follow the journey of a nature-loving heroine as she transforms her humble abode. What can you expect from Urban Jungle? Get ready for a delightful flower arranging experience that's easy to grasp, a sprinkle of puzzle elements to keep things interesting in those compact apartments, a chill vibe that will help you unwind after a long day, and a simple yet engaging story told through the game's environment. So, if you're craving a tranquil escape into a green paradise, be sure to check out Urban Jungle Demo on Steam. Happy decorating! Then we have Planta Bee Little Garden. The game just hit the scene this February. So what's Planta Bee all about? It's a laid-back sandbox game where you get to nurture adorable plants and craft a garden sanctuary of your dreams. In this game, you'll immerse yourself in the serene vibes of your own little green paradise. But it's not just about taking care of plants. You'll also unlock and collect various items to add that extra flair to your cozy haven. Your task? Help out the shop owner by fulfilling orders and expanding your plant collection. By doing so, you'll discover a wider range of plants to nurture and care for in your virtual garden. But here's where things get interesting. You'll also form a special bond with a plant collecting buddy from another planet. Together, you unlock a whole new variety of plants not found in the shop. So, if you're in the mood for some relaxed gardening fun, be sure to check out Planta Bee and start crafting your green oasis. Moving on, we have Distant Bloom. The game is making its way to Steam on March 27, 2024. Get ready to embark on a tranquil journey filled with exploration and management as you uncover the mysteries of an alien world and restore its once vibrant ecosystem. Join the protagonist and their crew on a mission to establish a new home on an unfamiliar planet. As you explore the desolate landscape, you encounter diverse alien flora and learn to nurture life with the power of plants. Harvest resources to craft tools and items, and reunite your scattered crew to build a thriving community. Your decisions will not only shape the environment, but also determine the fate of your crew, making each choice impactful and meaningful. Distant Bloom promises an accessible and fulfilling experience, inviting players to explore, create, and connect with nature in a deeply intimate way. Add the game to your wishlist on Steam and prepare to embark on a captivating journey unlike any other. Then we have Coral Island. Stairway Team just dropped their February 2024 dev update for Coral Island and it's packed with exciting new content. In this two-part series, they're giving us a sneak peek at what's coming in the 1.1 update. Today, they're focusing on the land-based goodies, while next time, they'll be diving into ocean content. First up, become the ultimate farmer by reaching Town Rank S, a new endgame goal that unlocks additional stories and challenges. And once you hit Rank A, you unlock the new Town Rank category attractions. Help the town build new attractions to draw in visitors and keep the townies happy. 
In the museum, you can now aim for rank S by bringing dinosaurs back to life with animated projections. It's a wild ride, so you'll have to play to find out how it all unfolds. You can also embark on an epic quest in the Heritage Rank S storyline to uncover the island's rich history and heritage. Tourists are now flocking to the island weekly, offering new opportunities for exploration and interaction. And while you can't romance them, you can chat them up and check out their unique seasonal outfits. Invite your favorite dateable NPCs to hang out in the new Hangouts mechanic, where you can earn friendship points and bond over ramen or a fishing date. Meet the buffalo and ostrich, two new farm animals available at the savannah. And if that's not enough, they're adding even more outfits and decor options to spruce up your island life. Next month, we'll be anticipating a deep dive into the ocean-related content of the 1.1 update and it's gonna be fantastic! Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out! Next up, Stardew Valley. The highly anticipated 1.6 update is set to drop this March for PC players with console and mobile versions coming soon after. Developer Concerned Ape shared the release date on Twitter along with some details about the new content. This update brings a bunch of new features to the game, including three new festivals, over a hundred lines of dialogue for villagers, new crafting recipes, and rewards for completing quests. There will also be some Joja-themed alternatives for endgame quests and trendy winter outfits for villagers. Multiplayer support on PC is being expanded to allow for up to 8 players, so you can enjoy farming with even more friends. With this update, Stardew Valley continues to evolve, offering players new experiences in the beloved world of the game. Keep an eye out for more updates as we get closer to the release of Stardew Valley's 1.6 update on March 19. And that's a wrap for February's gaming update. If you're hungry for more exciting news and updates in the cozy gaming world, click on the next video. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Stay awesome gamers!